Good morning, Britain. It is with a heavy heart I address you as Prime Minister for what will be the last time. I regretfully inform you that we have received confirmation that Finham's Comet will be hitting the Earth's atmosphere within the next half hour. Impact will follow shortly and is expected to wipe out 80% of the Earth's population. For those of you who have opted to join me and to remain above ground, you have my utmost respect at your bravery. And I will be here with you, my loyal friends, until the end. I've been assured that a signal will be maintained until the comet enters the atmosphere, at which point it will be lost. At this point, it is highly unlikely that anything above ground will survive. If you're listening to this broadcast from the safety of an underground shelter, I urge you to remain there. I will be honest. I owe you that much. The chances of mankind surviving this tragedy are slim. I can assure you that all measures to prevent this tragedy have been exhausted. All possibilities have been explored and proved to be futile. Though we have been cruel to Mother Earth, we have been determined and resolute in our efforts to protect her from this tragedy. People of Britain, it appears we may not have as long left as I thought. So let me say this, although it appears we have come to the end of the road, with little or no hope left, I urge you, do not despair. Don't let your final moments on this earth be consumed with negativity of panic or anguish. There is nothing more beautiful in this world than love, to love one another and be loved oneself. I think I can safely say, people of Britain, the time is upon us. It was Plato who said that death is not the worst that can happen to man. Do not be afraid. And remember,